Welcome to the Rocky Mount Area Chamber Buzz. Today's guests are the new chairman of the chamber, Bill Lanus, and also Teresa Pinto, president of the chamber. We've got great things to share with you today. Our show today is proudly sponsored by Roger G. Taylor & Associates to communicate to the members of the Chamber and the Twin County at large a lot of the wonderful things happening in our area. Let's take a look at some recent activities. Our Department of Health and Human Services has a totally broken down system of operations. Today I stood with Democratic Audit State Auditor Beth Wood and embraced an audit that they've had, uh, that they did between the years of 2009 and 2012 in which they basically said the operations of, the, of Medicaid in North Carolina are broken. We're spending almost more money for administrative costs than 90% of the states in the United States of America. Every penny we spend on administration cost is money that we're taking out of people that desperately need this Medicaid. And we're going to solve that problem. So I stood next to Beth Wood as she made the announcement of this audit, which was a highly critical of how we've been implementing this government operation in the state of North Carolina for a long, long time. And my Secretary of Health and Human Services, Aldona Voss, stood there also with me and said, we are going to fix it. Because the more money we spend on administration, the less money the people in need are getting. We want to help those people in need, but we need to implement efficient operations, get rid of the fraud, and we need to start doing it today. The status quo is no longer acceptable here in North Carolina. Let me talk about some long-term issues that we're dealing with, and I'm being very frank with you. Right now, if we want to continue to build, if we want to build the economy here in Rocky Mount, or in Guilford County, or in Wake County, or in Greenville, anywhere in North Carolina, we're going to have to update and reform our tax system in North Carolina. Because Bob McDonald in Virginia and Nikki Haley in South Carolina and Bill Haslam, the governor of Tennessee, are doing everything they can to steal business from North Carolina. It's kind of like the way the business is right now. Business is not growing unless you steal from someone else. That's the kind of stagnant uh, economy that we're in right now. The way you grow is you take it from someone else. And that's exactly what other states are attempting to do to North Carolina. I don't plan to lose to Bill Haslam in Tennessee or Nikki Haley in South Carolina or Bob McDonald. They're all good friends. We're going to compete against them. We're delighted to have the new chairman of the Rocky Mount Chamber with us, Bill Lanus. Thank you. You are certainly welcome. And Teresa Pinto, who is the president, um, new and almost new. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> But we're excited about plans for the new year, for 2013, and I Thank guess you. that's the, the venue of the incoming chair to help. And I was at the retreat this year, and we were talking about various options and things to do. So tell us what we can expect and how we as a community can support you. Well, it was a, it was a great retreat that we had. We had uh, a, a, a good number of our board turned out, it, mm -hmm. either last year's board or this current year's board. Um, a lot of good ideas bounced around. Um, it, we, we came out with a, what I think is going to be a, a good, aggressive plan of action or plan of work mm -hmm. um, that we're going to talk about a little bit, and, and um, we're excited. It's going to be an exciting year. We kicked it off. We have a, we're off to a great start with it. And, um, I think and having the, the governor at our annual meeting, wow, that was quite a coup, yeah, wasn't it? It was exciting, yeah. yeah. It was. We're really it, glad to have him come. Uh -huh. and, and I'm excited, too, that a local person is on his cabinet. So mm, Bill Dalton. Yeah. Bill Dalton, it's always nice for a community to have links to state government because mm -hmm. that way we've got somebody looking out for us, too. No doubt, and we also need to make sure we thank Jim Gardner because he was very helpful and influential in helping us encourage the governor to come join us for mm -hmm. the evening. So it was... We certainly do appreciate all of his efforts as well. Oh, absolutely. Well, how about you want to jump right in to, to tell us some of the things you're going to do, and Teresa, share. He's going to have me do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's okay. right. That's good. 
Well, yeah, we'll start off. We, we divided the plan of work into about four different areas. Mm -hmm. uh, there's the community economic development. Um, James Gale, you're just heading that division up for us. And mm -hmm. um, we, we are, one of our goals there is to develop or, or partner with the city as part of the visioning process um, that the city and the, and the two counties are going through at the same time. Um, a positive image campaign is was very needed mm -hmm. and um, so we, we we have that as one of our goals and it was interesting because we held our retreat before all the results from the city's visioning process was announced and mm -hmm. uh, we were kind of amazed at how many of our bullet points really do match up with kind of what the feeling of the region is as mm -hmm. well so um, the positive image campaign is one of the, mm -hmm. the, the first things that, that's going to come in under that area. And we're going to come back and talk to these. Are you going to give us all four of them and then we can come back and kind of elaborate on each of them? Sure. Okay. Um, we have under education, um, we, we want to have some industry tours and, and help with the young entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. uh, recruit and retain some of the young entrepreneurs and um, develop the Young Entrepreneurs Academy. Uh, we want to work with uh, some of the teachers in uh, pre-K through 12 or, or, uh, teachers to help bring them in the industry and kind of refresh them and make sure they know what's going on in the industry, in the community to help um, maybe guide them as far as with the students that they work with the students on, on career paths. Mm -hmm. um, on the workforce development, we have the, the one agenda that we're working with and we can go into more detail on that and, um, and also the career ready, readiness and work keys program. Um, and then, of course, it's community ad advocacy, working with the, mm -hmm. our elected officials and all to kind of keep us in the foresight. Very business focused, um, which is as it should be with yes, the chamber, exactly. but it sounds like with job creation. And I was thrilled to see that we're fourth out of ten in the nation in new jobs. I guess mm -hmm. it's based on size of the city and whatnot, <coughs> but, but that was quite a, a good announcement for Rocky Mountain, it is. wasn't it? It is. a long way to go. But, uh -huh. but it, you know, we're off and running, so mm -hmm. it's a good start. Teresa, you mm -hmm. want to comment on those before no. we kind of go um, into I them? think there was a lot of thought, first of all, that was put into those initiatives. I, it is an aggressive agenda. Uh, we are not going to do it alone. You can see many of the initiatives that we have. Some we lead. Some we are being supportive of other organizations. When we look at the, under education, we're not the experts in education. Mm -hmm. We play a more supportive role promoting a good education, access to good quality education here, but we support our higher education institutions. We support mm -hmm. the public K through 12. Uh, what can we do to support the strategic Twin Counties Education Partnership? Mm -hmm. We have to turn over leadership to other organizations and support what they're doing. While in other areas, when it comes to business ad advocacy, especially, mm -hmm. that is mm -hmm. ours. And, you know, that's something that we have to say, we're going to take the leadership and hold ourselves accountable for. Mm -hmm. um, and, of course, we'd work with our partners. So there are times where you'll see it's like an ebb and flow. Certain ones you have to step up and lead. Others, you, you step back and you look to be a more supportive role. And that's really what we look for the community and our members to do is to assist us mm -hmm. on an initiative where we say we need to lead. Our business members really need to step up and, and get involved and engage in it. On things where we say we're supporting, we're really going to be working more with the community at large because they have such input on public education. Like mm -hmm. I said, that's you know the taxpaying base and, and parents. Mm -hmm. uh, not our forte, but we're definitely there to support and listen and try to bring the business community to bear. Ward, is the chamber the e-newsletter? the best way for members to see opportunities where they can get involved? It's certainly one of the, the ways they can do it. They, um, you know, this year we're working on expanding our e-news database. Mm -hmm. um, and we're kind of having a, a, expanding the membership so that you don't necessarily have to be a member to get the e-news. Mm -hmm. it, it's a complimentary membership. Mm -hmm. um, and that will up, keep folks updated on what's going on, where the Chamber's activities are, what we're working on. Um, and helpful, hopefully it will help bring them, keep them more informed on what's going on and what the Chamber is doing for the community. And um, we look down the road that maybe they will be more willing to get involved and be willing to join as a, as a full member and, and get involved. So the, the e-news is certainly a good way to find out what's going on in the community. He just gave you a scoop, Gene. That's right. Uh, Complimentary subscription <laughs> is one of the new things we're, 
we're going to be launching this year for anyone who holds a business license or a business permit uh -huh. in Nash County, or Edgecombe County, they will have the ability to get a complimentary subscription to our e-news. And how do they access that? And get we on the line? will be contacting them. We've gotten Good. a list of everyone that holds a business license, mm -hmm. and we're going to allow them the opportunity to sign up for that, that e-news. So that's, that's a big scoop. That creates mm -hmm. a lot of awareness. Oh, it does. And, and so much of the talent, I'd like to think everybody's a member of the chamber who, whom I think should be, because I think everybody should be, because I see so many benefits from it and always right. have personally and, and through um, our business have benefited from it. But and you've been involved in so many different levels in, well, in, so, throughout you. the year. So. But, but I want everybody to benefit from the work right. of the chamber and see the worth of it and experience it. And also, we, we, there's a lot of talent out there that we want to tap into. And, and you know, it, the, the more we can build and develop our membership, the more we could be, we're going to be able to do, mm -hmm. when, especially with the political advocacy. If we, if we go to Raleigh and we talk to our elected officials or we go to D.C. and we talk to elected officials, if we have them come here and we have some kind of forum, you know, if, if we're a, a chamber of seven or eight, nine hundred members, we carry some weight. If we're, mm -hmm. we're a, a chamber of eleven or twelve hundred members, we, we carry a whole lot more influence and weight with them. So th there's a lot of advantages for, for um, us as a chamber, as an organization, but also as the members to help have a little bit more influence in, in what's going on in and, and your own. There have been a lot of strides made to help with the membership levels and dues <laughs> be such that, that more people might feel like they can join. You want to comment on that, Tracy? That, she's just, she's kept, I don't know, how, how do you know this? Who gave you all this <laughs> insight? Amanda Bell yeah, in all previous all interviews. Us, <laughs> all this scoop. We are looking at, um, as you know, we have a chamber partnership level. Um, this year we are rolling out addressing uh, the complimentary subscription, the individual member, the retiree, the um, additional locations for a business who maybe is headquartered here but they have an additional office maybe in Greenville or they have mm -hmm. in Wilson. It's about broadening that base mm -hmm. so that you as a member when you give positive news, when you do a ribbon cutting, when another company says they're hiring or something, it's a much broader network that it goes out to. Mm -hmm. So we're addressing those and we have those in place and we will be transitioning those members to their appropriate levels. Um, and the complimentary subscription, again, it's a complimentary subscription. They are not getting the benefits of membership outside mm -hmm. of that e-news, which does not cost us mm -hmm. anything to subscribe, you know, to provide. And then we'll be looking at everything that is below our chamber partners and above our individual and nonprofits and entrepreneurs. So there's a big gap, but we are working on developing some real benefits and some values and basically taking the entire membership away from that pay per seat, pay mm -hmm. per hotel room, pay per employee. Mm -hmm. And they'll be able to select, I want to invest in the chamber at this level for these mm -hmm. benefits. And make it very clear. Good. And get more yeah. people in. We want yeah. everybody to be in. Yeah. We're going to take a break and then we come back. I want to go through these one by one and see if we can talk okay. a little bit more about each of them. Stay with us, please. We are the past, present, and the future leadership of your Chamber of Commerce. We are business members focusing on new beginnings, boldly creating our Twin Counties future. Members working toward broader thinking, community reinvestment, and public policy supporting strong business. We are partnerships that create new beginnings. We are business and community leaders working together for a better tomorrow. And this is my time. I want to thank once again Roger G. Taylor and Associates for making this program possible. So if you see Roger around town, tell him thank you. Um, Amen. <laughs> we're with Bill Lanus, the newly elected or newly Im implemented or installed, I guess it would be, mm -hmm. chairman of the chamber and Teresa, the president of the chamber. Bill, pick out some that you want to particularly share with us, some of your plans. Well, we, we talked a little bit earlier, but, you know, I think one uh, big goal for the chamber this year is going to be the positive image campaign mm -hmm. that that's going to I think huge I think the community is kind of down on itself 
and sometimes we can be our own worst enemy. Mm -hmm. And I think you know we're going to um, put a big emphasis on that and see if we can coordinate with work with the city and the counties and whatnot in their groups and 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 help have some influence and, and kind of create a new light for mm -hmm. how we how we view ourselves. Um, you know, we're, we're going to be real active with the downtown. Um, it, 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 you know, it's encouraging. The city has done an awful lot in the downtown, mm -hmm. and people have opinions on if it was good, bad, or indifferent. But um, the, uh, you know, the city has spent a lot of money on downtown, and they, they can't do it all. And, and it's mm -hmm. to a point where the, the most of the infrastructure is in place, and it's really time for the individual business folks to, to kind of step in and start putting some money into some private funds into it and refurbishing some of the buildings and, and planning that out. So. You know, as a chamber, we hope to to uh, encourage and support that effort and um, kind of moving the downtown forward a little bit. Uh, you know, I know Alan Matthews with, with here at the chamber is has been active working with downtown um, and and con will continue to be active. Uh, there's a number of things that he's looking at or working on, trying to um, help move it all forward a little bit. And there's, there's um, there's still a lot of work to go there, but uh, we, we still will be active in, in supporting that. One quick thing, I've got an office downtown, the Almonds <laughs> building, and we still, mm -hmm. our bookkeeper and I are there every day, and have enjoyed watching a physician who is setting up her practice, her residency upstairs in the old Rosenblum Levy mm -hmm. building, and gonna have, she's a psychiatrist, gonna mm -hmm. be located downtown, downstairs, and it's just been a lot of fun watching them working so diligently making that a beautiful they're capitalizing on the architectural structure yeah. already there but doing mm -hmm. a great job and people need to come down and take a look at that and get inspired to do it themselves there's yeah. a lot of fantastic opportunities mm -hmm. downtown I, I remember that rosenblum levy store because i think that's where the dance studio was when my daughters were little and took <laughs> dance and i remember walking in because I, I was not in town when rosenblum levy was mm -hmm. downtown and i remember walking in that store and just thinking wow you know you could look at the just the architecture mm -hmm. and the way the building is, it, it really was mm -hmm. a nice, nice building, you know, store to shop in mm -hmm. at some point. But. And step my children's great-grandmother was a sales lady there a long is time that right? ago. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I, I think the city and, and Vanessa have done a phenomenal job with what yeah, they, they, they have done. Mm -hmm. um, and now it is time for the chamber to do a little bit more than just cheerlead. Mm -hmm. We need to get in the game and we need to encourage the private sector to get in the game as well because uh, if you want to have a thriving region we really need a thriving viable downtown business mm -hmm. district and you know we can't ex expect that everyone who works for the city or the county understands the intricacies of running a successful business there is a strategy to it there's a lot of mm -hmm. skill to it so we need those business leaders to come to the table and say this is what we think would work. Mm -hmm. This is what we think is viable as a business district mm -hmm. or a, a business it looks, community. It looks just beautiful. I mean, it all really the wreaths does. during Christmas were just magnificent at night. I mean, it's clearly, it's there. The blueprint, the, the groundwork has been done, and now we need to, to step up. Mm -hmm. So, okay, what else? Uh, we are hoping to, and planning on working with uh, some of our business partners or, or larger employers and all who. They, they're telling us, and we know one of the bigger challenges is to, to recruit and retain young professionals mm -hmm. in the community, and um, we want to have that conversation with some of the young professionals, and, and what can we do to, to encourage them to come here and, and live, work, and play, and, and spend their time here in um, the Rocky Mountain community, so, mm -hmm. or the Twin County community. So, um, you know, that's also one of our big agenda and we have several young professionals on our board we do we have mm -hmm. we made a conscious effort to to engage them mm -hmm. so at the um, retreat there were several younger people mm -hmm. absolutely there was. Mm -hmm. and I think the critical piece to that is that Bill and I think the rest of our officers are open to not only listening to their ideas but we have as a chamber have committed to putting resources behind that mm -hmm. so it's not about offering your ideas and then they go nowhere that that happens too often this is about this is their future. Mm -hmm. uh, we can't be hesitant or worry about, well, ooh, that's, that's a little strange. We have to put the resources mm -hmm. behind it, and we have to go with what they feel is, is best and what would be viable or mm -hmm. you know interesting to other young professionals. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're our future, too, and we want yeah. our kids to come back. So mm -hmm. okay. They don't think the old, white, old way of doing <laughs> no. things. You we know, learned that at the retreat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So. 
Oh, okay. Be interesting. And? Um, workforce development. Oh yeah, you're gonna look at me because that's yeah, one. He, he that's knows right. that's my passion. It is. Um, I am really excited <laughs> about the opportunities that we have here in this region for workforce development. Uh, I think that there's a lot of untapped resources. I think that just the uh, we now have the reality that we have all the workforce development agencies, resources, employment agencies. Um, everyone that's in the business, let's say, is getting around the table Good. and talking about one agenda, mm -hmm. creating a system that's fluid for that person that's out there looking to up their skills, that's out there looking for employment, who is coming out of higher education and needs that first job or the first step in their career. Mm -hmm. um, we have the educational you know, systems, K through 12 as well as higher education, around the table talking about creating one agenda. Mm -hmm. um, that's a big step. Mm -hmm. uh, we've long operated in silos and we've seen the result that although we as an individual silo may be very effective in our circle of influence, but as a region as a whole, it does not work. So bringing in five counties and working with Michael Williams and the Workforce Development Board um, to create one agenda, I think is just is phenomenal. And the other piece that is not listed on here, but we're looking at using innovative technology that makes all of that a reality. Very fluid. Such as? Such as um, using technology, creating a database in which you are seeking a job, mm -hmm. you go to one place. Mm -hmm. All the jobs are in that one database. So you as a job seeker makes it much easier. Added on to that, if you are looking for a particular career, it would tell you um, what's available in terms of training, educational mm -hmm. resources, what you need to do, what types of skills do you need to have to get that job, mm -hmm. what's the salary that you can expect in that career, in that job. So it creates the ladder for you. Mm -hmm. And it is not about a job for now. It is about creating a system where at any time throughout the, your life you can access it. So you go into the system, you see you get a job, you, then you're exiting out of basically this system. Something happens, maybe you want to get a master's or, or you need to change your jobs. You can come back in and it, it's fluid. It mm -hmm. follows you for your life. So it's really about creating that ladder for a lot of mm -hmm. people who don't have careers. Mm -hmm. They have jobs. Mm -hmm. So it's about creating that. And a lot of the colleges and universities have, have created and, and maintained those databases for their alums mm -hmm. to come back to, but to have it on a local area and bring the, the parties to the table, the employers and the educational entities and the job seekers, I just think that's wonderful. And I hate to say it, but we're out of time, so you're going to have to come back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're about halfway through what you want to talk about, but, but that's great. We've mm -hmm. got a very bold agenda, as you said, ahead, and I've just Bill, I'm so glad that you're the chair. You are well, just well-deserved we honor, and you are such a leader. Year. Well, thank you. And with Chick-fil-A, you raised that to the pinnacle, and now you can help raise us to the pinnacle mm -hmm. with Teresa okay. at your side. So thank you. And thank you for joining us. We'll see you next week. We are the past, present, and the future leadership of your Chamber of Commerce. We are business members focusing on new beginnings, boldly creating our Twin Counties future. Members working toward broader thinking, community reinvestment, and public policy supporting strong business. We are partnerships that create new beginnings. We are business and community leaders working together for a better tomorrow. And this is my time.